This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with Truro and Penwith College and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. The outgoing Lord Lieutenant of Cornwall, Lady Mary Holborough, has been chatting to members of the island's army cadets to commemorate their 40th anniversary. She met with cadet leaders and council members and officials too on Saturday afternoon during a reception at the Old Wesleyan Chapel. I have really enjoyed my visits here. At times I've come with members of the royal family. At times I've come on my own and just walked and gone by boat to the different islands. And I think, actually, like so many others, the other city has got a special place in the heart of myself and many other people. Smudge Smith introduced her. Tony Smith, the army cadet boss in the islands, was concerned that Lady Mary might not have made it because of weather delays. We did. It's been one hell of a week, what with no flying and um, defence cutbacks, cutting the sort of way we were going to move things down. It's been sort of changing as the weather changes. Uh, to top it all, the last thing we had yesterday was the car that we were going to use to ferry Lady Mary around. The exhaust fell off, so I've been running around at the last minute trying to find something like taxis or something to actually move people around, but we got there in the end, yes. Tony says it's appropriate to mark the anniversary with her unveiling a plaque. Well, it's just something they can remember, I suppose. I mean, if you look at the plaques that we've got up there on the wall, there's one from when we first started in 1971, and obviously some of the old locals over here will still remember that. When we had the new hut built for us in 1973, it was another sort of ceremony. And this just adds to it, so it's nice. Do they get a sense of the history of this, do you think? I think so, because we do a bit of regimental history, history and sort of the West Country side of it when, when, they, when they join the cadets, so they know how the regiments were formed and how our cap badge came about and things like that. So uh, I think they get a bit of history from it as well. Tony says the cadets can often give Farland's youngsters some direction in life. I mean, I've t- taken quite a few cadets over the years that have been the usually the unruly or rowdy ones and sort of chipped them into shape and whatever, and they've, they've become probably the best cadets and the best citizens that we've got. One of the army cadets is Lance Corporal Calum Galton. I joined my, my brothers and friends have all done it and I just thought it's great experience, it looks great on a CV, help the future life. And I thought, because I was going to join the army from an early age, I thought it would be a great experience. Lady Mary says she's seen some aspects of Ireland's life he wouldn't expect the Queen's official representative to see. The first time, the first time, well, the first time I came over officially, Philip Hygate organised a little tour for me and to see what was important for, for the other city. And the first thing was to drive a fire engine. In fact, we were at the hilly port, so I drove a fire engine. Then I went to see the sewage works. Then I went to see where your water, water treatment works. So I really knew what were the basic necessities of living on the Isle of Scilly, or anywhere for that matter.